virtuous vixen, vowing violent vengeance. Papa Caesar, you better pray those fucking pigs catch up with you before I do. Striper, just your average girl next door, but behind her wholesome image lies a dark secret. Oh, Jasper, my special little chair bear, one day we'll be free of this hellhole. Forced to degrade herself night after night for cheap thrills and a handful of dollar bills. I swear, Caesar, I'm gonna shove this gun so far down your throat that I've gotta force my hand up your ass to pull the goddamn trigger. Fuck, kid! Didn't your mama teach you to knock? Oh, Varla, I'm sorry. I thought I heard Jasper's car pulling up outside and couldn't wait to see him. Well, you're not gonna be much good to him with no head on your fucking shoulders. Not that you'll be much good to him now anyway. Well, what do you mean? He's gone, sugar. He's left me? How could he? He didn't have much choice in the matter. Oh no! My baby's been wheeled away by another woman? No, girl. Jasper's taken that great stair lift in the sky. That can't be. His only went up one floor. His batteries are flat. Oh, that's silly, Billy. I always told him to carry a spare. He's fucking dead. No! 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 I'm sorry. Here. He would have wanted you to have this. I love candy. Now dry your eyes. We've got a scumbag to kill. Fuck, where are my keys? Oh, Coco and Cindy took your bike. They wanted to go to the biker bar to turn some tricks. Really? Anything else I should know? Just that. <laughs> Never mind. Get ready to be titillated, tantalized, and teased by tasseled titty temptresses. But beware, these kittens have claws. Witness naked desire, naked lust, naked terror. Adults only, keep both hands on the controller. Backstage and strippers. Now we're playing as Farla and Candy. Much like with the rest of the House of the Dead games, there's really not no much difference. Or the strippers. Whoops, sorry. I'm a little crazy with my shotgun. Um, there's really not much difference between uh, characters. They're the only real time that I can think of where there's like a mechanical difference between playing as different characters is in the House of the Dead 2 PC version. But that might have been the House of the Dead 1 PC version, I don't quite recall. Uh, regardless, um, Candy and Varla are identical to Washington and G, um, save for, you know, the levels. This is one of the two levels that was added to the director's cut to kind of flesh out Varla's story. Yeah, get fucked. Right now we're using the standard shotgun and switch to the SMG. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the standard shotgun because the auto shotgun is just better than it in every way. What kind of asshole locks a fire exit? Hey, let me tell you about the Triangle Shirt Coat Factory. 
I'm also not a huge fan of the SMG. It just doesn't do a lot of damage, and while it does have a million ammo, that doesn't really mean anything when it's basically the same as throwing paper clips. Another bunch of creeps pawing at your body and tipping badly. There we go. The only reason I suggest using the shotguns is because it's super easy to keep your combo counter up. Um, the way it works is every one of these pellets is a projectile, and the game actually doesn't care if ha. The game actually doesn't care if you kill something, um, as long as at least one projectile hits an enemy after it leaves your gun. So you won't lose combo if you miss uh, a kill with with a shotgun. Maybe you should push the door. Have you ever considered that, Varla? I was actually kind of excited to play Overkill when, well, one, because this is actually a legitimately good game. And I know I've said that before, but um, I think this is kind of an underappreciated gem. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun gameplay. The levels are well designed. The game is just corny enough, and it works pretty well. Uh, it, it has a lot of um, it has a lot of positive traits that I, I highly recommend. And the typing of the dead Overkill is I think like 15 bucks on Steam. So. It's not something that, uh... It's not something that's too difficult to get a hands on. Get your hands on. I also think it's on PSN. This is cool. You only get this slow-mo, uh, zoom in if you get that, uh, pickup. But you get a special... Yeah, special movement. And... A secret line. What Jasper used to ask. Yuck. Not yuck because of the people who are doing it, just yuck because it's somebody else's sex life. Right now I'm in a Gorgasm. Uh, basically that means that I get an additional thousand points every time I kill someone. Looks like closing time on a Saturday night out here. But yeah, I was also I was also excited to play uh, House of the Dead Overkill specifically. No because uh, this takes place in, like I said, a, a falsified version of Louisiana. Uh, and I thought that was very interesting that these two very thematically similar games, Resident Evil 7 and House of the Dead, um, one would end in Louisiana and the other one would start there. And there are, there are obviously some uh, semantic similar... Thematic similarities, not semantic similarities, um, to the two the two uh, series, and it's I don't think that's bad. I think they they do the they do the story their own way, and they're both they're both genuinely good in their own way. I mean, House of the Dead has been a classic series for like ever. Gosh, that could have had someone's eye out. Hey, you could have slipped on that and done yourself a mischief. actually sorry I'm just kind of taken aback by like how true to life this fucking little grocery store is um, oh my I think we need a clean up in aisle two I don't know if you know this but I live in the American South and there's a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of similarities damn it I keep somehow killing people with this shotgun you in the tank why don't you try using that fucking thing Rural Southern America is pretty much the same all the way through. Um, and uh, if you're city folk like me, it's not fun. One moment, zombie. There we are. I really like the addition of the slowdown mechanic. Uh, it, it makes... Disgusting. There you go. How can they do that? With no barbecue sauce? It does make certain moments very cinematic, but the problem is if you don't if you don't hit them at just the right time, it can really kind of fuck up your pacing because like everything is slowed down. 
I'm going to take the- this is the biker bar, given that it's a bar and there are bikers nearby. Oh! Uh, so like I was mentioning, the game isn't exactly perfect. There are a couple of gotcha moments that are very quarter muncher-esque. You've seen them a couple of times already, where I'll, like, whip around a corner, um, and get clipped by, uh, get clipped by a monster. Um, too fast for me to, like, react. I see the service here hasn't improved. There's also, uh, there's also a thing that, like, all these games done, but it's, uh, all these games have done, but it's, like, a real, real noticeable thing in this game, where, um, so, you know, you're, you don't have any control over the camera, really. You can kind of, like, scoot to one freaks. side or the other, but you can't, like, turn around. Um, and I'll tell you more while we fight these bosses. Right. Which one of you bitches has my fucking keys? Damn it, Cindy. Have you lost weight? Where's your little fuck buddy? <laughs> Look, Farla. Look at Cindy's stomach. Oh, fucking gross! What do we do now? We take those bitches down. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to the SMG. Oh shit, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh yeah, um... There's something that this game will do that, that's kind of annoying, like I said. Um, where it will have your characters running somewhere or moving somewhere, um, and give you just long enough to aim at a monster before moving the screen suddenly. Um, and that's not that big a deal, especially if you're not going for score, but... Uh, if you are going for score, it is infuriating because you have to really memorize where everything is and when everything's going to happen. So this is Coco and Cindy. Uh, I believe the big one's Coco and the small one's Cindy. Uh, Coco's not really going to do anything. Uh, she's also invincible. So we only have to worry about dodging her attacks. Um, Cindy, on the other hand, is going to make her way towards us. Um, and we have to shoot her uh, repeatedly uh, so that she falls down. This is very thematically similar, or at least mechanically similar, to the first boss fight in House of the Dead 2. You bitches never could dance. Still be in one piece, or I'm gonna come back and kill you fucking bitches all over again. What happened to them? How did they get like that? Damn if I know, but I bet that sick fuck Caesar has something to do with it. Where is he now? Being chased by two asshole cops. Then we should go after them. No, kid, it's too dangerous for you. Jasper wouldn't want you to risk your life avenging him. But Popper Caesar killed him! Tell me something I don't know, girl. Well, Jasper had this thing he liked me to do, where I'd, uh... Fuck! I don't need to hear that! Now let's get you the fuck out of here! Then are you going to try to find Papa Caesar? Listen, sister, I don't try anything. I just get up and do it. And when I'm done, that fuck will be dead. Now come on! Riding into the night, a trail of carnage, mayhem, and devastation behind them. Driven by a single desire, revenge.
That was Naked Terror. I like that they added in extra stuff um, for Varla, and I also like that um, they kind of gave her this cool partner in Candy. Uh, and it was it was pretty clever for them to sort of tie that into the story, even though they didn't exactly have any plot threads. If you play through the regular version of the game, there's no mention of Jasper having a girlfriend, and he kind of gets forgotten about um, like a third of the way through the game. If you enjoyed um, this video, then please uh, do like and ring that bell so you'll be notified. There's also an end card with some extra videos um, that you may enjoy from this channel uh, that all have to deal with uh, fun gameplay and uh, talking about stuff and doing enjoyable things. So you might like that and I encourage you to click on them. If you want to see what we're doing with this channel in the future and uh, you also want to see some of the other stuff that we're doing with like tabletop games and fun stuff like that, um, then be sure to click through to our website. You can find the link uh, in the description below. Um, you can also find uh, in that same description uh, the link to our Twitter. Um, so if you want to get like up to the minute updates with what's going on or you just want to give me a shout, um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, finally, if you want to help this channel grow um, and you want to support us, you can go to our Patreon. Um, there are a bunch of cool Patreon rewards, like getting videos a week early, um, and any, any amount that you can provide will really help uh, this channel, um, and it'll help me a lot, and I would really appreciate it. Um, so, as always, thank you for watching, and next time, we are going to be playing... 